So they were going to make an orchestra style hip hop beat for a sports series on TV. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step. Make sure you stay till the end to hear the final beat. So our BPM is set at 160 and I'm going to start with the brass. I'm going to layer a few different sounds just to have um, additional texture so it doesn't sound like, you know, a monotone brass section. Let's add a lower octave. And I'm not going to quantize any of it because I want it to feel like I had a real brass section and it not be sterile. Let's add another layer. That's what sustain sounds like. Staccato. All right, let's add a sustain. Let's see if we can find some trombones and tubas, and then that'll pretty much be it for the brass section. You see it. commit these to audio and then we'll continue from there all right so thinking ahead let's send all of these uh brass parts to uh um to its own bus so highlight everything and click on where it says stereo out and we're going to change that to bus one and it puts it right over here and we'll name this brass so that way i can process everything as a whole versus processing individual instruments or parts Let's see if we can add some more stacks to this because I want it to be big and demic, right? Let's do it again. So like that, it's a dryer brass and it'll add additional texture to what we already have. All right, let's gain all of these down. I can already tell that it's hot, so.
Let's add some bass to it. All right, let's add some drums. So I'm gonna drag these parts out individually out of um, machine and then drag it onto the logic timeline. And then we can sequence the beat from there or build out the rest of the, the entire track from there. All right, I wanna find a crash to put on here. So let's find a crash real quick. All right, let's drag that out. Let's 
duplicate it, drag it over here. And the whole time I'm thinking about the vocal. The whole time I'm um, cooking this up, I'm thinking about the vocal being added to it. So um, I might add one more sound for now. And then after the vocals recorded, um, then I'll finish building all the rest of the beat. You know what I'm saying? Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. All right, since this is for college basketball, let's see if we can add. Uh, and it can be used for football, too. But let's see if we can add some taiko drums and stuff like that. I'm going to do a few more layers of the same thing and I'm not going to quantize the second and third layers or whatever additional layers that I do because I want it to feel real like somebody was actually playing and I'm going to change the sound Let's add another layer. to their own bus select all change the output to bus 2 because I already know I want to scoop out some low end on that so it doesn't clash with the kick in the uh, 
existing bass already and the low brass. Turn it down a little bit. All right, since I'm on my percussion, let's do. Let's stay percussive, but let's see if we can add a little ticking loop to it. <clears throat> Let's do loop designer. See what we can find in here. Just to give us some added, um, just to give us some added depth to the uh, programming. I just want the front part of this loop so that we can add it to the ending part of the entire hook. As a feel, you know what I mean? Let's see how it sounds. See, it just adds texture to it. More build up, you know what I mean? More dynamics, I should say. Let's add some more ticking percussion. All right, so let's listen to the entire drum section to see if we have a good pocket. Make sure we didn't overbake it. You'll see it. Okay, so I like where that pocket is so far. Um, pretty much at this point, I would just um, copy the beat or this section that we've come up with, which is like half of a hook since we're double timing in the, in the tempo, um, copied over a few times um, or throughout the length of the song and then just start taking parts out. Matter of fact, let's, let's do a part two. And I'm going to build this beat out and add additional swooshes and fills and hits and so forth so you guys can see the entire process. Then I'm going to do a video showing you guys the vocal process or how we record the vocals. And then I'll do a mix and master and you get to see the entire process of the song. And then when it gets released to um, whatever show it gets put on, I'll let you know. All right. So thanks for tapping in. Thanks for sitting in with your boy. Please, if you found value in this, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, share this video with someone because we're trying to grow the channel, trying to get to 10 bands, 10,000 
subscribers. All right. So please share this information um, and tell me what you think. Tell me what else you'd like to see on the channel. Also. All right. Thanks for tapping in. Fire tracks out.